Growing up can be tough. Not only does your body go through weird changes, but if you're unlucky, you might have to face a few schoolyard bullies along the way, too. The scars left over from bullying never quite go away, and there are films that show just how nasty bullies can really be. Films that tackle the subject can range from heart-wrenching tales of young underdogs to cathartic stories of revenge. In this video, we're taking a look at the top 10 greatest movies that deal with bullying. Number 10, Lord of the Flies. Let's start the list off with one of the most easily recognizable tales of bullying. You probably remember the story of Ralph, Piggy, and a group of preteen boys who crash land on an island from English class. This film is an adaptation of the classic 1954 novel by William Golding. The story uses ruthless bullying and its effects to create an allegory for human impulses and society as a whole. This film makes a few key changes to the original story. It mainly focuses on Ralph and his attempts at creating a somewhat civilized society, while the more impulsive Jack forms a tribe that thrives on savagery and bullying. An interesting thing about the movie is that the cast is mostly filled with amateurs who didn't have much experience. This actually gives the film a certain grounded authenticity that makes the feel of bullying much more harrowing. Number 9. Bully This disturbing film about a group of teens who gets revenge on their friend, who has bullied them for years, is actually based on the real-life murder of Bobby Kent. It was directed by Larry Clark, who helmed the similarly dark and controversial 1995 film, Kids. Bully is a bit sleazy and exploitative, as it focuses more on the gritty revenge side of bullying. It's not exactly an easy watch, as the murder of Bobby is brutal and involves a vicious beating and disemboweling. The film stars a few familiar names like Brad Renfro, Bijou Phillips, Michael Pitt, and Daniel Francisi, who coincidentally also appears in the next film on our list. Number 8. Mean Girls Compared to Bully, Tina Fey's teen classic Mean Girls is much lighter fare, though it still tackles the harsh effects of bullying. It focuses on the way the popular girls from high school often relentlessly tease other girls, causing insecurity and self-esteem issues for anyone unlucky enough to cross their paths. The film's titular Mean Girls, The Plastics, Regina George, Gretchen Weiners, and Karen Smith have an entire scrapbook filled with gossip and insults about their classmates called The Burn Book. When new girl Katie Heron comes to school, the less popular Janice Ian and Damian Lee concoct a plan to get Katie to infiltrate the group of popular girls. The film is considered a cult classic and has spawned a sequel and a musical. It still holds up today thanks to its clever writing and realistic portrayal of high school cliques. Number 7. Zero Day This brutal story draws inspiration from the infamous 1999 Columbine murders. The story focuses on fictional teens, Andre Kriegman and Calvin Gabry, who make extensive plans to attack their high school. They dub the day of their attack, Zero Day, and keep a video diary that details all their plans. The film is told in a pseudo-documentary style, which makes it feel all the more gripping and realistic. Director Ben Caccio sought to deconstruct the idea that bullying causes kids to become violent school shooters. Instead, the film proposes that these teens are the true bullies and should not be met with sympathy. Number 6. Ben X This Belgian-Dutch drama is an adaptation of the novel Nothing Was All That He Said, which was in turn inspired by the story of an autistic boy who committed suicide after being bullied. The film examines the ways that bullying causes the protagonist, Ben, to withdraw into the world of online gaming. In the movie, Ben actually fakes his own suicide as a way to get revenge on his bullies and show them the consequences of their action. The movie was praised for the way it portrayed autism and the bullying that neurodivergent students often face. It was actually submitted to the 2007 Academy Awards, but unfortunately did not receive the nomination. Number 5. Carrie Now here is a classic bully revenge story. Brian De Palma's iconic Carrie features Sissy Spacek as a titular character. She is abused by her religiously fanatical mother and mocked at school on top of it. She attends her school's prom and is embarrassed in front of all her peers when a bucket of pig's blood is dumped on top of her. Little do her bullies know, Carrie actually possesses telekinetic powers. She unleashes them upon her cruel classmates and incinerates most of the prom goers. 
The film's brutal climax has led the film to be hailed as one of the greatest horror films of all time. Number 4. Boys Don't Cry This film is a tough one to watch. It tackles the real-life brutal murder of Brandon Tina, a trans man who was the victim of a deadly hate crime in 1993. The film stars Hilary Swank as Brandon and follows him as he attempts to make a new life for himself. Brandon thinks he's found a group of friends to fit in with, but once they find out that he is transgender, they brutally, sexually, and physically assault him. It's a truly heart-wrenching story that highlights the sad realities of violence that is often perpetrated against LGBT communities. Number 3. The Breakfast Club John Hughes' coming-of-age drama about a motley group of teens in Saturday detention is one of the most iconic films on this list. The film tackles bullying from multiple different angles. John Bender, played by Judd Nelson, constantly harasses his other classmates, but it is revealed that the reason he lashes out is because of the constant abuse he faces at home. The biggest bully here, though, is assistant principal Vernon. The guy is clearly on a power trip and mocks the students, even going as far as to lock John in a storage closet. In the end, The Breakfast Club writes an essay telling him that he will never be able to dictate how they should feel about themselves. It's a powerful send-off to a tyrannical overseer. Number 2. Bang Bang, You're Dead This film is actually based on a play of the same name. It tells the story of 16-year-old Trevor Adams, who is constantly tormented and humiliated by the jocks at his school. In a fit of rage, Trevor makes a fake bomb threat to the school and is nearly expelled. This leads him to be ridiculed even further. In order to cope with his feelings of rejection, he joins the theater club and gets the lead role in a play about school shootings, Bang Bang You're Dead. Unfortunately, this creative outlet isn't enough for him to vent his frustrations and he actually ends up making plans to lead a school shooting. However, once a student named Jenny stands up for him, he finally realizes that violence will only beget more violence. It's a powerful film about the effects of bullying and the ways that it can push tortured students to the edge. Our number one pick is The Class. Earning the top spot on the list is the Estonian film The Class. It's a bleak look at the way students gang up on their classmate, Jusip. Led by the sadistic Anders, students beat Jusip up, sexually harass him, and relentlessly humiliate him. Finally, a student named Casper decides to stand up for Jusip, but unfortunately, this only leads to more bullying and vile homophobia. After a particularly disgusting event where the entire class forces Casper to have oral sex with Jusip, the two decide to go on a violent rampage. The film is not an easy one to watch, and its frank depictions of bullying are stomach-churning. Do you agree with our list? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be the first to receive new top 10 videos on Stream TV.